going to check this one, two, three. Let's see the volume. Uh, hello, guys. Hello. Hello, good night. Good night to the one that we're connected. <laughs> Why we have yes, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Well, I don't know what is happening. What is going on with the other ones? Some of your classmates sent me a a text in, in order to tell me that they are on their way home. I don't know what's going on with the other ones. In the case of, let me see, uh, who has sent me message, Lourdes. Lourdes. Send me a message. I don't know. In the oh, also Christopher. And um, well, I don't know. And what is happening with the Claudia Margarita camera? And, and Carlos David. And Astrid. I don't know if you still stick like 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 you were mentioning that last time. Uh, are you there, Astrid? Yes, I'm not. Oh, okay. And what about the case of Carlos David? Mm, Carlos David Lopez Amaya. I don't know where what is going on with your your camera. And guys, just for doing a remind, uh, for all of you, and uh, I need a. Uh, we are still working on the on the platform. There's no problem if you continue working on 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 the on the next section that we have. Don't worry about that. You can work in in this week in this week uh, activity that you have. You can move to the another to the next week to the final week, and that's not a problem. If you already finished the whole the whole uh, work that you have to do in the platform, that's not a problem. You already completed it. Uh, but if you don't, you can still work in. And for this week, remember that the time finished Friday at midnight. And also something that is going to be taken into account is like the uh, time that you are in the, in, during the time that you're going to be connected, uh, you must have the 80% of everything. The, the attendance list, how the attendance is going to be taken. The attendance is, is going to be taken from the from the videos. And if you don't have uh, like the 80% of the whole time that, that, is so, that is supposed to be, that you must wear in the platform, that might be like a... A little problem. You 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 will have like a, to recover those minutes. If if you were misses, if you were like a 70 percent, if you need a five percent in order to get the eighty percent, uh, me as a teacher, uh, I need to give you like a some practice exercise or something related to that in order to complete uh, those lost minutes that you have during the whole module in order to complete at least the 80% of everything. It's the 80% of everything. The planner for videos, the time that you were connected, that is the 80%. With 80% that you only get your your diploma. Less than 80%, that might be a, a, a little be a little small problem. We might call it that way. Okay, and now we're going to share what we have for today. Let me see right here, guys. Okay, we have her here. Okay, Ta -da -da -da. 
Let's move to here. I think we are good right here. Okay, guys, we have a conversation for start today. We have a conversation between Jody and Liz, but not Liz Miguel, just only Liz. And what we have here. Oh, I feel awful. I really have to stop smoking. So why don't you quit? Well, if I quit, I might again wait. Oh, gain weight. A lot of people do, but um, if I gain weight, I won't be able to fit into any of my clothes. Well, you can always go on a diet. Oh no, I'm terrible at losing weight on diets. So if my clothes does, don't fit, I have to buy new ones. Oh, that's a problem. I have to get a part-time job and listen, it is hard to quit, but it's not that hard. Do you want to know how I did it? Oh, you see, they are, have like a, a smoking problem. And uh, like if you have hair, the majority of the people smoke due to their anxiety. And that I have heard that the people who smoke, they re they reduce their level of anxiety with with the cigarette. I don't know. If, I I think the nicotine is something famous that that brings the the tobacco, right? I think the the nicotine is something that that affects the 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 nervous system in all of your body. I don't I I I'm not sure about that. I, I, I don't smoke but the those are the things that I have heard about the, the people who who smoke and why they, they usually smoke. Okay. Guys I would like to start with two participants. Who wants to help me for today or collaborate me with this small conversation? Okay, Diana and Crisia. Diana, you're going to be Jory, and Crisia is going to be Luis. Okay. Okay, let's oh. start. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I feel awful. I really have to stop smoking. So, why don't you quit? Mm -hmm. Well, if I quit, I might get... I... Gain. Gain. I might gain... I might gain... Wait. Mm. A lot of people do, but and if I gain weight, I won't be able to fit into any of my clothes. Well, you can always go on a diet. Oh no, I am terrible at losing weight on diets. So if my clothes don't fit, I'll have to buy new ones. I'll have to get a part-time job and Listen, it is hard to quit, but it's not that hard. Do you want to know how I did? Okay, thank you. Oh, it's very interesting. Also, it is making emphasize about how you can uh, gain weight. Uh, especially we have like a, like a big season where everybody, I think, gain weight. During the during the Christmas celebration or the, in the Christmas season, I think most of the people gain weight, eating a lot of turkey, chicken, or panes con pollo, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, uh, let's going to see who else is going to help me. Hello, Sylvia, how are you? Hello, good evening. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay, Sylvia, would you like to help me for today, right? Sure. Okay, you're going to be Jody, and let's see, Gabriela. Hello. <laughs> Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Gabriela. Gabriela, you're going to be Luis, okay? Okay. Okay, girls, let's start at the count of three. One, two, and three. Okay. Oh, I feel awful. I really have to stop smoking. So why don't you keep? Quick. Well, 
quit. Mm -hmm. Well, if I quit, I may gain might. weight. I, I might. Might, might gain weight. Mm -hmm. I might gain weight. A lot of people do, but... And if I gain weight, I won't be able to fit into any of my clothes. Well, you can always go on a go diet. On a, go on a diet. Uh -huh. Go, go on a diet. diet. Oh, no. I'm terrible at losing weight or diet. So if my clothes don't fit, I'll have to buy now once. I'll have to get a part-time job and and listen it is hard to fight quit too quick uh -huh, too quick but it's not that hard do you want to know how i did it mm -hmm. how you did it gabriela <laughs> excuse me <laughs> how i did it <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm asking you how how you did it <laughs> because they are they are talking about the the like uh, the key or, or how losing weight. Yeah, I I've been I I've been looking for 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 that for that key or for that uh, big secret how you can lose weight. <laughs> okay, thank you. Teacher, yeah. can, can you help tell me about the pronunciation about the word? Uh, well, if I keep it, I might wait. Well, yeah. we're, we're in the first line, second line, third line. Third. Here, in the number three. Yeah, seat number three. Right here? Yes. Well, if I quit, I might gain weight. I might gain weight. I like a lot of HT song. Might gain weight. Well, if I quit, I might gain weight. I don't I know might if gain weight. Mm -hmm. I might gain weight. Yeah, it's like a it is like a bit. I think because the two words end like uh, in the, with the same song, it's like uh, we, we listen like a very weird at the moment to pronounce it. I might gain weight. Wait. Okay, I don't know if it's, it's, it, is, yes. it is clear, Sylvia? Yes, it's clear. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Let's see. I need two more participants and see who can be oh idalia margarita okay thank you idalia you're going to be jody and hello lower there how are you hello teacher thank you okay thank you. you're the yeah thank you you're good you're great Lourdes. you're going to be luis lourdes luis okay okay let's we're going to start at the count of three one two and three um. Mm -hmm. Who is Jory? Oh, I feel out. Oh, <laughs> I really have to stop smoking. Mm -hmm. So why don't you quit? Quick. Quit. Quit. Mm -hmm. Well, if I quit, I might gain weight. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of people do but and it a way way I won't be able to fit into any of my clothes. Clothes, uh -huh. A clothes. Well, you can always go on diet. Oh no, I'm terrible at losing weight. On diet, so if my club don't fit, I have to buy new one. I had to get a part time job. And listen, 
It is hard to quit, but it's not that hair. Do you want to know how I did it? Okay, thank you. Thank you, girls. Thank you. Okay. And what was about the whole conversation about? The whole conversation was refers about the the healthy habits there was mentioning or the conversation was between two people that used to smoke or they usually smoke and how they can quit or stop smoking and the consequence that came with stop smoking once the body doesn't receive the nicotine from the uh, cigarette the body start uh, experiencing anxiety attacks and that's why some people use nicotine patch in order to give the body the nicotine that it needs in in, you, in that way you're like uh, putting away the the use of the cigarettes the bad, I, the, I consider the the use of cigarettes uh, very bad because Smoking doesn't bring you like something good for your health. Smoke on, uh, also affects uh, a lot of things in your body, and it's not something that really contributes to the human beings. Okay, let's see what we have in our next slide. Guy, thank you to the ones to help me. Oh, what we have here. Oh, it is better here. Okay, what we have here? We have grammar focus. Conditional sentence with if clauses. Guys, have any of you have heard about the if clauses? If you maybe have seen some exercise or you maybe have heard some people using the word if, or their uses. Has anybody have heard about that? Or you have an idea about what it is related to? Nothing, in this case, nothing. Well, conditional sentence with if clauses. This is something easy, this is not something out of the, this word, this is an structure. If you pay attention to the small detail, you're going to learn quickly their proper and their right uses. And let's see, conditional sentence. Pay attention, guys. Conditional sentence can describe situation and consequences that are possible in the present or future. How can we use conditional? We can use this in present or future. We can use this in, in, in this case in, in two, in two types of statement, but, uh, present and future. Possible situation. What do you understand about possible situation? What it comes to your mind, guys, when you heard about this word, possible situation. What might be a possible situation? Maybe. Maybe. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe is uh, no exits. Uh, not yet, but it's a possible. It's possible mm -hmm. on, on the future. Mm -hmm. Something. Right now, no. That is not happening this moment, but that probably will happen in the future. Okay, that's your your idea. It was what was. Okay, what about who was the another one? Was Diana right? Yes. Um, okay. For me, for example, thank, a thank you, Sylvia. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a yeah, continue, continue. situation is a um, a situation <laughs> like obviously. <laughs> yeah, 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 a situation, a situation, <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but for example mm -hmm. a possible situation in Christmas maybe 
I mm. eat tamales or maybe I eat panes con pollo. I don't know. It's a possible mm. situation. Yeah, or it's maybe a... I will receive a present from all of you or maybe I won't receive a present from all of you. Yes, it's a thing <laughs> that in the future, the future, I don't know who say that. Let me see. My brain is working. <laughs> In the future, it's possible that mm -hmm. that you can do anything or not. It's a possible. If you don't know, a conditional, if you don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's why they call conditional. Because in this case, uh, everything turns around about condition. How there is a famous saying that is the the majority of people make sure, and uh, everything is going around the weather conditions. Uh, some people might just to say those, those kind of thing. The what is what are the condition? The condition might change. Uh, the condition might be a lot of things. In this case, about the weather, the condition might be uh, raining too much uh, smoke, uh, too much sun, too much high temperature, uh, very low temperature. Uh, those are referred to the whole condition according to the weather. That's why they call it conditional because it might differ from one to each one. That's why they call conditional. In this case, we have possible situation. What it means possible situation? That are not 100% sure that are going to happen in a future. It is a possible. It is possible, but uh, we are not 100% sure that that really is going to be true or is going to be done. In this case, possible situation with present tense for. What it mean present tense for? Present tense for is the present structure. What it means present? Like the same word is telling you, the present, the present time. What is the present time? Right now, that is the present time. In this case, we have some example. If I quit smoking, in the possible situation also are accompanied by a consequence. If you see, if I quit smoking, I might gain weight. What we have here in parentheses with future models, pay attention guys, which are the model? Model will, may or might, may or might. Those ones are modal. What does it mean modal? Modal are the way to express and a certain idea that you want to share or tell with another person. That is a, a, that is a modal. But the modal here in this case, they relate with the consequences. In, the, in this case, in this conditional, we are talking about the possible two situation plus or following by the consequence. Like the first example we have right here. If I quit smoking, I might gain weight. If I gain weight, I won't be able to fit into my clothes. Teacher, what is one? Want is the negative form of will. You never going to say in English, uh, will not. You only going to use uh, want. In this case, you're going, always you're going to use want because want is the negative form of will. In this case, in order to say the negative form of a word, we only use not. But here, especially with the four of will, the negative four is going to be 
what? No, you you are not going to say will willing. No, that doesn't exist. It wants. If I gain weight, I won't be able to fit into my clothes. Well, what way can we refer also with the models? The model also describes the future situation. I won't be able to fit. I won't be able to fit. Okay, here we have another one. If my clothes don't fit, I'll have to buy new ones. I is the conjunction of the subject I plus the model will. Here, of course, I can have a, co a conjunction. Why? Or a contraction. Why? The, whatever way you want to call it or you prefer to, to call it. Why? Because we are doing or working on positive statement. In the case you are talking about or referring to a negative statement, you are going to use one because one is the negative form of I or I will. Okay. If my clothes don't fit, I have to buy new ones. You see how many models? We have the first one, might, won't, I. Let's see the last one. If you get a part-time job, you might be you might be able to stay some money. What else do we have here? May may be able. In this case, it's accompanied by may, but it is only may. We have I, the negative form one, and might, and might. Pay attention to this guy. Be able to is often used with other models. What does this mean? Other model will or won't be able, will or won't be able, sorry, or won't be able to, may be able to, or might be able to. This other also might be Another way in which we can use, won't be able, you see guys, won't be able to, might be able to, might be able to, not only might, in the case of might, might be able to, we can use the same, but in this case, just we, we only use I might gain weight. Those are, the most common, but you also can have this other form. Silvia, hello, Silvia. Hi, uh, I have a question. Tell me. About the I want, uh, want not is the negative about the word want. Uh, I want or I want. Ah, I, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. You, you refer to the word W-A-N-T, want. Exactly, want, but... Mm, no, I, Okay, want uh, means, translating to Spanish, uh, quiero, quisiese, o busco, okay, translated into Spanish, in this case, want, pay attention, want, want has nothing to do with want, has nothing to do. They are not related. How it is related with will, the one that I, the one thing that I was explaining to you. Here we have will, you see, you see well, right? Here we have will. Will is a future model that express future situation in the future. The negative form of will is not willing how, how like most of the people think. No, 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 no. The negative form of this one is want. Like like in, uh, in some other example, 
you might have like a, this example. I am going to shopping. That is a possible statement. What do you do when you are going to become into negative statement? I, I am not going to shopping. That is how you know that that structure is becoming into a negative statement. But in the case of the model will, the negative form is want. Has nothing to do and never has nothing to do with want. No. You might, you maybe might hear like a little similar, but it has nothing to do with that another word. Has something to do with this one, of course. But oh, with okay. want, never. Yeah, I, I think that that's, that's why you were like a, a little bit confused. And I think it is understandable because you might understand want. Oh, want. Oh, okay, want. Yeah, it, it might happen in some cases, but in this case, Want is the negative form of will, and that's okay. everything. Okay, I, I get it about this part, uh, but how do you say no quiero? I don't want. Okay, got it, thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't want. In this case, uh, even the pronunciation is different, want. The another one is want. You see how differs the move of my mouth. Want, want. One is open, and the another one is like a more close. Want, want. You see, yes. even if, if if even if the movement of the tongue, tip, and your lips differs a lot, but. Yes. Uh, I, I I hope that the doubt was already clear for for you in this case. Yes, yes, it's clear. Uh, and uh, right now I know that I was confusing. Yeah, and Silvia, it is also that's why I was telling you it is under understandable because in some cases even we have this famous case. Uh, when the people is starting to learning English, they differ or they might confuse with those words like uh, beach and beach. Some people might think, oh, both words are the same. No. What may differ the two words? Not only the, the written form or the grammar structure, also differs in pronunciation, but some people that that never have heard a lot, those words, they think are the same word. And that is what happening with, with, with our ears. When they are not uh, accustomed in, in, like in a 60 or 70% of English word, you might get confused. Have you heard that those jokes that people used to make uh, accorded with song? Hey, can you play me some review or some night? That that happened with the that happened with the English pronunciation, and, and the really and the really words are the rhythm of the night, and the people confuse on rhythm because on night that happened when you are not getting accustomed to your, your ears in order to uh, to a foreign language, or maybe when it is the first time you heard that word. That, that has, there are a lot of cases. There are a lot of cases. But once you already know the proper uses of an, any specific word, everything is going to be clear. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Who else, guys, have a doubt about this or everything is, is clear for you? Anyone else has a doubt? Everything is clear for, for here. Everything is clear. Clear. Okay, I can see that everything is clear. Um, well, there's not something out of this world. There is something easy, very common at, in some cases when you use it. If, if even translating it to Spanish might be si, si tal cosa, si esto lo otro. That might be translated into Spanish. If I quit smoking, I might gain weight. See, 
dejo de fumar, podría ganar peso o aumentar de peso. That's why they are calling condition and translating to Spanish might work in that way. Okay, if, the famous if. If, okay. Let's move to our next slide, guys, and see what can we share about that. Any doubts, right? Okay, let's move to our next slide. Oh, match the clauses in column A with the appropriate information from column B. Then compare with a partner. Okay, there we have one, two, three, four, and we have five, five exercise, right? Okay, we can match the number one with the proper one or the right one that can match. Let's let's see what we have in the number one. If you eat less sugar, what which one might 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 connect with the with the with the number one? The A. A. No, sorry, the the B. B. You B. might feel healthier. Healthier. Mm -hmm. You stay in shape without joining the machine. You have okay. Let's keep it the number one with 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 letter B. If you eat less sugar, you might feel healthier. Okay, number one is with letter B. Okay. What else in the case of the number two? If you walk to work every day. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. You'll he he will you'll stay in shape without joining a gym. Yeah, it might be the case. If you walk to work every day, you'll stay in shape without joining a gym. I can go walking to my work because it is from here to from my house to the work where I. To, for to the place where I work, it is like uh, how many kilometers? Oh, 50 kilometers. Or 50 kilometers. That's why I, I cannot go walking. <laughs> okay, let's move to the number three. If you don't get enough sleep, you make letter the most relaxed. Letter e D. E. Uh, a, a, e. you will be able to work the letter, uh, letter A. Letter A. You might. Oh, see, so, eh, pay attention to the letter E. You won't be able to stay awake in, in class. class. Mm -hmm. If you don't get enough sleep, you won't be able to stay awake in class. But it means awake, translated into Spanish. Despertar, despierto. Estar despierto. Mm -hmm. o, o despertarse. In this case, we are uh, using as a being awake, okay? To stay awake in class. Okay, is for number three, letter E. Okay, let's move to the number four. If you own a pet. Letter A, you may feel more relaxed. You may feel more relaxed. Okay, letter A. And yeah, that, that's a, a, a real fact. Uh, I was paying attention to a uh, research that people who have pets at home they used to live more than the people who don't have pets at home. Why? Because pets, uh, the time I share with you, that make you feel like uh, less stressful because you interact with your pet. And when you don't have pet, and, uh, and you don't have like uh, something else in which you can relax. And even pets have like a special connection between human beings. And that's why some, 
some pets are closer to humans than other ones. In the case of the dogs, uh, the dogs really feel happy once and they see you arriving at home. In my case, I have two, uh, two dogs. One is male, another one is female. Uh, one, is, one it is called Koki and the, and the female called Sushi. And the two of them are amazing. They cause uh, a lot of mess sometimes, but makes you feel less stressed. Uh, they are really uh, helpful in your daily life. Uh, let's see the number five. If you don't get married. Let's see. Let's you have, have more money to spend. Okay. You have more money to spend. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. You have more money to spend on yourself. Yeah, when you yeah. once once you are married, the money is like the air. You just feel it, but you don't see it. You don't watch it. You can observe it. Th that is how, how, how money works once you are married. That's why some people say I prefer being being alone or just live uh, alone in my house. Yeah, if you don't get married, you'll have more money to spend on, your, on yourself. Yeah, you can spend some other interesting things like traveling, food, outfits, and some other delicateness things that you might enjoy, like going to party or or, or hanging out yes. with or oh, who's speaking? <laughs> Me. But if you if you uh, get a pet in the house you spend money like if you are married. <laughs> no, no. Well in my case I, I don't spend too much money. Why? Because uh if I see any of them like uh, being sick, uh, I call to the to the vet, and the vet came to my uh, to my house, and even the vet is a friend of mine, and there are sometimes that he he gave me free medicine, free vitamins, yeah. and and that and, and and that's why I don't spend a a, a lot of money. The only <laughs> the yeah, that, is expensive. That, yeah, and that's the... true. Yeah, that's true. That's why I, I don't spend too much money. The last time and uh, where I spent too much money was when I took my dog with another bed because he he's going to make to my dog like uh, a a tip clean because the teal the teeth of my dog were very dirty and he needs uh, an origin clean. And that's why I spent like a $45 for in my dog. Yeah, but but pets are really good. Having pets at home are, <laughs> yeah, are, are very funny. And you might have like a lot of situation, but you, you enjoy their company. <laughs> you don't have pets, right? Yes, I have two pets. Uh, cats or dogs? Uh, dogs. Oh, two dogs. But the two of them are male or, or you have a... a... Female and a male. But I oh. spend a lot of money. A lot of money. No, the, 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 the bag of their food, it costs uh, $51. And it lasts like uh, two and a half more. But the one that I have, they are small, small puppies. No, oh, I, 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 I can have big dogs because oh, that that would be. I have two big. Very oh, big. okay. That's why you just spend a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, that that is how most of the people uh, can spend their money on their cell or in another thing, right? <laughs> okay, let's go to check again what we, what we have, guys. Okay, we said that number one, if you eat less sugar, you, what was the right answer? Or the, if you lose, eat less, lose, be, be, you be, might feel healthier. healthier. Healthier, okay. Let's move to the number two. 
If you walk to work every day, we choose the letter C. You'll stay in Che without joining a gym. That's good. What about the number three? If you don't get enough sleep, and we select the letter E, you won't be able to stay awake in class. class. If you don't get married, you won't, I know, sorry, <laughs> if you don't, if letter D, you'll have more money to spend on yourself. Yourself. That, that's, that, those are the correct ones, right? B, C, E, A, N, and D. Okay, those were the correct answer. Okay, I would like to select one, two, three, four, five. Who wants to help me to read? Who wants to help me to read the number one? I need another one for the number two. I need another one for the number three. Another one for the number four. And another one for the number five. Who wants to help me with number one? Who wants? Wow, Only whatever. one. <laughs> Only one. No. Olga, you said hello, Olga. Oh. Hello, Olga. Do you want to help me with the number one? Huh? Olga, do you... sí. Olga, but, but did you do the exercise, right? Uh, la respuesta no sé cuál darle, pero sí sé que me pregunta. <laughs> okay. Uh, Yo sé que, que comer azúcar, no sé qué responderle. Uh, well, letter B is for number one, Olga. Okay, you got it? Yo le había entendido otra cosa que yo le iba a dar respuesta propia, no de las que no. estaban acá. Yo Ay, sí no. sé que, que es eh, la B. You meet sugar. If you eat less sugar, you, sí. you letter we you we matches with the letter B. You might uh -huh, feel B. healthier. Healthier. Okay. Repeat after me, Olga. If if you you eat eat less less sugar sugar. You, you might, might feel, feel healthier. Uh, esa me cuesta. Healthier. Healthier. Oh, um, so so. Okay, let's keep <laughs> it that way. Uh, okay, let's see who else wants to, to help me. Claudia Margarita Constante. Hello, Claudia. Are you there? Claudia? Hey, what is going on with your camera? In the case of Selena Marisol, Saul Enrique, and Carlos. Uh, please, if when you can try to... Uh, oh, you're working. Okay. Uh, always let me know when you, uh, you are still at work. Okay? Uh, thank you. Saul Enrique Garcia. Hello, Saul. Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, good, Saul. Good, good. We are good. Saul, help me with the number two. If you walk to work every day? Uh, letter C, teacher. You'll stay in a shape without joining a gym. Okay, thank you. Carlos David Lopez Amaya, Gracias, help me teacher. with the... Okay, yes, thank you. Help me with the number three. The number three is the letter E. Okay, let's do it. Let's start right here. If you don't get enough sleep, uh, you won't be uh, able to stay away in class. Okay, thank you. Let's see who else, who else, who else. Uh, Crisia, help me with the number four. Dear. Cristian Morena. Uh -huh. Healthier. 
Uh, if you own a pet, healthier. you may feel more relaxed. Healthier. Okay. Uh, Astrid Yamilet. Hello, Astrid. Oh, dear. Hello, Astrid. Do, how do you feel? You feel you feel better than yesterday? Yes, I feel better than yesterday, but I'm still uh, a little bad of my throat. Ah, you, you feel like uh, you're feeling... But you feel better than yesterday. That, that's, the, that's the best part. Okay, and help me with the number five. If you don't get married... If you don't get married, mm -hmm. and you have more money to spend on yourself. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, guys. Now we are going to move to our last slide and see what we have over there. Oh, what we have here. Uh, what are the consequences? Oh, consequences. Oh. Okay, guys, we have here possible events uh, by a large dog, falling off, got on a diet, inherit a lot of money, move to a foreign country, quick smoking. And here we have a list of possible consequences. Which one do you consider might be for buying a large dog? Buy a large dog, might be which one might be the consequence? Mm -hmm. Feel more ener energetic. Where, where, where? Number one, two, three. Why? Feel Why? more energetic. You won't be able to buy expensive clothes. No. No. Uh, <clears throat> I, I can change the. My answer. Yeah, about, you, can. Uh, you can select you, if feel you want. You safer. I feel I feel safer if in your home. Oh, uh -huh. by a large dog, dog you will safer. feel safer in your home. Okay, that exactly. will be a, a consequence. You will feel safer in your home. Okay. What about falling in love? Mm -hmm. What might be the consequence? You might get completely lost. <laughs> that, might be a... <laughs> that might be a that might be a consequence of, of falling in love, right? You might get completely lost <laughs> of everything. Okay. No, let's see which one we have right over here. Um uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. feel better about oh yourself. you you will feel better about yourself mm -hmm. that's not necessary mm -hmm. when you're falling in love you can feel better by yourself also you don't need uh, like another person or did you feel like uh, like a better or or, or lovely no that's not necessary but if if you are that one that you that you feel that with another person, it's all up to you. In your case, fall in love. In this case, what about going a diet? Okay, go on a diet. How to give up your favorite snack? Snack. Mm -hmm. Oh, you will have to give up your favorite snack. Oh, that's that's the worst part. Or or, or being on a diet. Thank you, thank you, Gabriela. <laughs> what about inherit a lot of money? Mm -hmm. You will be able to buy expensive clothes. In the case, in the case of when you inherit a lot of money, you will be able to buy expensive clothes. Yeah, imagine girls buying Dolce Gabbana, buying like uh, Carolina Herrera, and all those kind of expensive things to look uh, more attractive. <laughs> okay, no, the best thing is when you inherit a lot of money, invest, invest your money. <laughs> okay, what about move to a foreign country? Which one might select right here? 
Mm -hmm. with all friends. It's lost. Oh, you will lost touch yeah. with all, all friends. Friend. Yeah, that's happened when you move to a foreign country. You lost contact from the majority of your friends. That might happen. That might happen. Thank you, Chrissia. What about quick smoking? Gain weight. Oh yeah, you will gain or you might gain weight. That will happen for with with people who who quick to smoking. Okay, guys, and let me see. Oh, guys, there's something that really concern me. That it is that just we are only fifteen, and the group is a little bit big but i hope the the other one have have some other reason why they were not doing the, during the whole class well this is was everything for today i hope that the other one that didn't were during the classes they can be with us because just a few semi messages and they told me that they were uh, very busy at work and there's some other that they have a technical problem or they were having problem with their internet. In those cases, I, I think that we can do uh, a big big thing for, for you guys because when the work demands you more time, in, even at night, that, that might be a, that might be a problem, but always let let it know to the institution when you were not connected one class. Let them know in, in that way. We are going to help you to with the with the classes that you lost. Okay, I hope to see you on tomorrow, guys. Take care and have a good night and. I hope the other one be connected in tomorrow classes. Okay, this is was everything, guys. Thank you for your attention, for your participation. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Take care. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.